YouTube, what's going on? This is Steve. These are my Game Hunting Chronicles. Today, we are going to go over my wish list for Torque Retro Gaming Expo. Uh, just kind of go over some of the heavy hitters on the list and, uh, you know, some of the other games that I want to add to the collection. There's honestly quite a bit of NES and, yeah, mainly NES and Super Nintendo. There is one, like, heavy hitter PS2 game one heavy hitter ps1 that was a japan exclusive hopefully it's here in ohio and uh yeah and then there's one that i already found which i'm pretty pumped about but with that being said guys uh if you enjoy this video please be sure to hit a like and uh drop a sub on the channel it really helps us out and uh leave a comment below what is on your wish list for an upcoming convention or uh, like when you're out hunting in the wild. With that being said, guys, let's get into the video. All right, guys, first things first, this is a, uh, a pretty expensive PS2 game. It's not like the most expensive and I'm not going for Kunan or, or Kuan or how, however the hell you say it, or really any horror games on the PS2 because I hate horror games. I'm a big old scaredy cat. It's absolutely terrible. In which I was talking to my buddy Brett at uh, All About Games today, actually. And it may not be the PS2 uh, edition that I buy, but I am looking for Futurama. It's roughly $310 on price charting. Um, that's one of the most expensive games on, like, in the collection. I'm going to try to bring up some emulation footage of it to kind of, uh, you know, show you guys what it's about. But apparently it's just a freaking episode of Futurama. So it's going to be fantastic one way or the other. You know what I mean? All right. The next heavy hitter on the list. It's a game that you guys hear me talk about all the time. Uh, I absolutely love this game. It has so many great memories, uh, so much nostalgia, and I already have a loose copy of this. It's my like original loose copy that was in my collection at, from childhood. But I am looking for a Super Mario World complete in box for the U.S. Con uh, for the U.S. version, and I'm looking for the Japanese version, but it's substantially cheaper. The complete in box U.S. version of Super Mario World. Is about 540 bucks, give or take uh, the change, you know what I mean? And hopefully I can find it here at Torg uh, this coming weekend and maybe make a bundle deal, maybe get a little bit knocked off of it. You know, I'm not trying to, like, I'm not trying to undercut the dude too awful much, but I definitely want to try to get a deal. And, uh, you know, Super Mario World on the Super Famicom is 40 bucks for complete inbox, which, you know, if they have it, I'm buying it. Like, it's $40. Whatever. I'm not even going to haggle. Like, here you go. It's like, I know there's going to be a hammy up there from, from uh, Games for Less. Uh, he has some heat, man. He's He was showing me some shit he was bringing. But uh, besides the point, it's not on the list, so we're not going over that. Uh... And then we have a Genesis game. This is the only Genesis game that I'm really looking for. Um, I don't really have too many Genesis games that, like, like I have a small little collection, but, like, it's nothing major. Um, and leave it in the comments what Genesis games I should look for, you know? But it is TMNT and the Hyperstone Heist. Uh, loose, it's a $39 cartridge. Complete in box, it's $159. I may just get the loose copy because later on down the list, you'll see more games that are that have loose prices. But for the next items on the list, I just kind of melded these two together to save space on the uh, wish list on my phone because I'm an idiot. Um, it's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 and 3. Uh, the loose copy of, uh, the arcade game is $15, and then the loose copy 
of the Manhattan TMNT, the Manhattan Project is roughly 30 on price charting. Yeah, I'm just going to look for loose copies for them because NES and SNES games complete in box are so goddamn expensive because it's cardboard. You know what I mean? At least with uh, with Sega Genesis, like, yeah, there's some real expensive games, but they're plastic cases for the most part. And then uh, for SNES, we're looking for Turtles in Time. And the loose copy is about $42. Um, there's just something about SNES turtle games. Like, just SNES games in general. The sprite work is fan freaking tastic And then, like, just playing Turtles in Time. Just, oh, God, it's so good. It's so good. And then, this game is going to be, like, a sealed game in the collection. I don't really don't. Like, if I find it open but complete in box, I'm going to buy it. But if I find it sealed, it's going to be hard for me not to buy it sealed because I really don't need the physical copy. I just want one because, you know, stupid collector brain. I have it digitally on several. Okay. Second day of recording this video. My freaking mic died yesterday and I had to get on stream. Um, so that's why I'm in different clothes. It's the next day. But before the mic died... Um, we were about to get into uh, the next game on the Torg wish list, which is a limited run game or a super rare game. I'm not 100% sure, but it is Duck Hunt. This game is the best couch co-op game I have ever played. It is nothing but shit talking and beer drinking fun with you and, a, and three other buddies. It is hectic. Your little ducks running around, shooting people, grabbing weapons. It's so damn fun. My freaking God. And then the next game on the wish list here, it's uh, Mario Baseball on the Wii. Um, I It's on the wish list because I never see it out in the wild. Like freaking ever. So it's been kind of hard for me to find. It's not a rare game, but it's just hard for me to find in my local like uh, flea markets and retro game stores and whatnot. And I try not to, I don't really go to, like, the game stores themselves. I usually go to the booths at the flea markets where I built, like, relationships up, you know. But, yeah, Mario Baseball, I'm going to play the hell out of it if I find it. It's it, it's going to be a mainstay in the Wii or even Wii U, you know, backwards compatible and whatnot. And then we have a Japanese exclusive game that is very obscure it's very, like, bad, but I want it real bad. It is freaking Pepsi, man. My God, it's coming in at roughly $150 on price charting. Uh, like, this game is so bad, it's good. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't wait to even try to look for it. Which I know uh, the homie, Boa476, he's going to be looking for Pepsi Man as well. Uh, so we may have to, we may have to have a Twitch boxing match or whatever, you know what I mean? Something fun. Or Rochambeau for it, which I may just let him get it, you know what I mean? And then the last game on the wish list, it is Darkwing Duck on the NES. This is going to be a loose price. Um, I think the game's roughly $80 loose. I could be mistaken. That's a later title from Capcom. So it's going to be more expensive because it had, a, it had a fewer run of, like, the normal Capcom, NES, Disney games or whatever. But, you know, I'm definitely going for all the, the NES and SNES games loose except for Super Mario World, which I'm willing to pay up for that. And then uh, we actually did find one game already in the list at the... Uh, at the flea markets in Brett's booth, uh, all about games, and that was Chip and Dale's Rescue Rangers. That game's just fantastic. Like it's splendiferous as a pudding pie. But yeah, it's so good. It is so damn good. I you have to check it out. My freaking god, definitely check out Chip and Dale's Rescue Rangers. It's it's back there on the shelf already. So insane. But yeah, guys, this was my list. For Tour Retro Gaming Expo of games I'm looking for, I'm definitely going to skew from this list, especially if I can't find some of the heavier hitters on this list. 
I'm gonna, you know, gonna try to jump into Wii U Winter a little heavy, you know what I'm saying? But with that being said, guys, let me know what your favorite on this wish list is. And uh, let me know what your wish list is for an upcoming con if you're going to Torg or if you have if you're going to really red for weekend or whatnot. Let me know your uh, list below in the comments. And don't forget to hit that like and sub. We're going to try to hit 500 subscribers by the end of the year. Uh, I think we can do it. I think we can do it. But guys, I, this has been Stever. I'll see you guys at Tour Retro Gaming Expo. I'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya.